Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog. This is Mimi Guapa. This morning, we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are creating these videos as an alternative for people who are always on the go and struggling to develop a closer relationship with Jesus by studying His words and learning more about Him daily. So in less than 10 minutes, we are uploading these videos on YouTube ahead of time so that you can listen to them on the day it was supposed to be listened to and your life will be enriched by the messages that we are reading from this book. Your religious affiliations do not matter here. As long as you are a Christian wanting to develop a closer relationship with Jesus, well, these videos were created especially for you. So let's get on with our reading for today. But before we do so, may I please invite you to seek the Lord with me in prayer. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the gift of life. Thank you for blessing us with another day to straighten the wrongs that we have done, to connect with you, and to learn more about you. Open our hearts and our minds, dear God, as we study your words this day. May you send your Holy Spirit to work in us, to transform us and make us better individuals of your kingdom. Guide each one of us, Lord, in our predicaments, in our struggles, and help us to be victorious. May you also bless our loved ones who are working with us to provide food on our table, and our church leaders and workers, the school leaders, the nation builders, and the world leaders, that will be able to travel the path of righteousness towards you, and lead more people unto your feet. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us. This we ask in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. October 9. Heaven cheap at any price. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Luke chapter 14 verse 27. It is too true that the great mass who possess ability and talent do not choose to travel the Christian road. Are their talent and ability too precious to devote to the giver, the Lord of heaven and earth? Many would be followers of Christ if he would come down from the cross and appear to them in such a manner as they desire. If he would come with riches and pleasure, many would receive him gladly and would be in haste to crown him Lord of all. If he would lay only aside his humiliation and sufferings and cry, If any man will come after me, let him please himself and enjoy the world, and he shall be my disciple. Multitudes would believe on him. But the blessed Jesus will come to us in no other character than the meek and lowly crucified one. We must partake of his self-denial and suffering here if we would take the crown hereafter. The word of God has not widened the narrow way. And if the multitude have found a path where they can wear a form of godliness and not bear the cross or suffer tribulation, they have found a way where our Savior did not walk and they follow another example than that which Christ set before us. Is it not enough that Jesus left the felicity and glory of heaven, endured a life of poverty and deep affliction, and died a cruel, shameful death to provide for us the joy of holiness in heaven? And can it be that we, the worthless objects of so great a condescension and love, will seek after a better portion in this life than was given to our Redeemer? How easy would be the way to heaven if there was no self-denial or cross? How worldlings would rush in the way and hypocrites would travel in it without number. Thank God for the cross and the self-denial. The ignominy and shame of our Savior endured for us is none too humiliating for those saved by the purchase of His blood. And heaven will indeed be chief enough the end for today's reading so that is the reason why heaven is such uh, in a way a hard place to be in because if it would be an easy place there would be many who can come in 
but only those who were gleaned, those who were trusted, those who were purified through the crucibles of life can come inside heaven without any price because the price is only self-denial and taking the cross of Jesus. I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, that your goal is that heaven, which is a home for everybody to celebrate life with, a home for people who are close to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, a home for people longing for no sin, for enjoying life to the fullest, by coming to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Happiness, but happiness with purpose. May God bless you always, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for watching until the end of this video and for sharing this video to people whom you think will be blessed with the message, for leaving a like, for leaving a comment, and for subscribing in our channel. God bless you. Adieu.